Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to go over the LEC Week 3 Players of the Week based on stats. Um, if you haven't watched one of these videos already, they're based off of the stats I utilize are KDA, where assist count is half, CS per minute, kill participation, damage divided by gold, uh, which is ROI, uh, vision efficiency, uh, vision score divided by wards placed, solo kills, in addition to solo kills, 2v2 kills for the bot lane uh, duos. Gold difference and CS difference at the time the first turrets fall. So, um, dominated by three teams for the most part. We have a couple of other players sprinkled in, but uh, for the most part it is simply BDS, Fnatic, and G2 on this board. Um, BDS, Adam, was the best top laner. First in KDA at 14.5. CS difference ahead 20 on average. Second in CS per minute at 8.2. Had a solo kill. Gold difference, um, 1,129 gold. Third and kill participation at 71.4%. After that is irrelevant. One of the very few players, like I said, not on one of those three teams. Um, second in KDA at 5.3 for SK. Second in return on investment, so 1.5 damage for every gold. Had a solo kill. And third in gold difference had 527 over his opponents. Oscar in and in third had second in CSD up 18 um, slightly less CS per minute than Adam at uh, rounding up to 8.2. In return on investment, third at 1.47. Other notables, mainly Photon of Vitality, once again, um, very dominant in the top lane. Statistically, he deserves better, to be honest. So, uh, Photon, first in CS per minute at 8.3. Return on investment, Finn of Rogue. 1.57, you're going to find out that Rogue dominated this specific category throughout the board. Um, because they got blown out, they didn't get a lot of gold, but they did deal a lot of damage relative to that gold. They got they were very efficient in the damage divided by gold category. Vision efficiency, Photon first, 3.44. Uh, Mirwin had two solo kills, which was first. And gold difference, Photon up 1,400 gold on average. Um, he tanked. Uh, return on investment, and he tanked another stat that ended up keeping him out of the top three. In the jungle, we have Shao, uh, first in KDA with 8, CS per minute 8.2, second in gold difference had 733, and third in CS difference going even. Um, a weird distribution of CS on my board. Uh, Yike, first in solo kills, he had 2. Gold difference, 974 gold ahead. Second in vision efficiency, 4.95. Third in KDA at 4.6. Razork from Fnatic, first in vision efficiency, 581. CS difference had 23 on average. Gold difference ahead, 381. Other notables, kill participation, closer from Carmine Corp and Yankos from Team Heretics, 94%. I believe it ended up being... Uh, roughly 15, well, no, 16 out of 17 kills or, or 15 out of 17 kills for both. And then Yankos also led in return on investment. I believe he played Karthus both games, which resulted in 1.8 damage per gold. I mean, that's pretty, um, that's a pretty easy stat to get with Karthus. Mid lane caps led the way. First in KDA, 6. CS difference ahead, 14. Second in CS per minute, 10.1. Vision efficiency, 3.73, and gold difference ahead, 602. Larson of Rogue, first in gold difference ahead, 741. Light and kill participation at 84%. And second in return on investment, 1.48. CS difference ahead, 8. Third in KDA at 4.8. Despite Rogue's struggles, Larson statistically checks out to be okay. Jackies of Giant X, once again, a very good week out of the rookie mid laner as the team gave him a leash and allowed him to, um, gave him a little leash and allowed him to, uh, you know, play the entire season. Didn't get rid of him. Where you look at other teams in Europe dumping rookies and not getting any better afterwards, and it's, it's a shame. So Jackies first in CS per minute, 11. Uh, return on investment, 1.77. And third in CS difference ahead, 6. Other notables, Nuke of BDS had the best vision efficiency, 3.84. Uh, Vethio and Frescawi both had a solo kill, so they're the only ones with any solo kills in the mid lane. 
Bot lane duos, Han Sama, Mickey X, first in gold difference, had 16.50 on average. Second in CS per minute, 11.5, had uh, three uh, solo or 2v2 kills. Third in KDA combined, 5.1, and kill participation, 76%. Ice and Lebrov, first in KDA, 8.5, CS per minute, 12.9. CS difference ahead, 17 on average. Second in vision efficiency, 2.5, and gold difference ahead, 804. Noah June, a fanatic, first in solo kills, 2v2 kills. They had six of them um, between the two games. Third in CS per minute, 11.3, and damage divided by gold, they were third at 1.38. Other notables, kill participation, Heretics, Flack, and Trimby, 94%. Comp and Zolis from Rogue, 1.73, return on investment, like I said. Uh, Rogue leading the way in that department because they got blown out and uh, dealt damage. So, uh, because they got blown out, didn't get gold, but dealt damage. I mean, that's just the nature of it, I guess. Um, but dominated by three teams. I mean, first team, Adam, Shayo, Caps, Hansama, Mickey X. Second team, Irrelevant, Yike, Larson, Ice, Lebrov. And third team, Oscar Innan, Razork, Jackies, Noah, June. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And hope to see you again tomorrow.